Welcome to the Science Revision Coach Metacognition Playlist. I was reflecting on the revision timetable and how pivotal it is in helping you organise your academic timetable, but also how important it is to support your mental health and general well-being. When I first constructed the revision timetable template many years ago for my students, I was very mindful that I needed to give the students a crib sheet to help them understand how to use it. This video is the 21st century crib sheet for the revision timetable template, basically. The revision timetable comes in two main formats, the term time template and the holiday template. The term time template allows students and their families to plan their revision from about 3 p.m. until 10 p.m. on weekdays and from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. on weekends. The holiday template allows students and their families to plan their revision and other activities from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday to Sunday. Obviously, you can edit these templates to adjust to your sleeping and waking patterns. The reason for this is so that students can input all their revision extracurricular activities, hobbies and chores into it. No block of time should be blank. If you are on social media platforms, allocate a time for that. If you are watching TV with a family, allocate time for that. If you're having dinner, going to play some football or going to the skate park, write it down on the timetable and be realistic about this. Factor in travelling times and times to get changed, for example. This is why it is so important to plan this with your family and be prepared that this will change perhaps on a weekly basis and may do so due to emergencies. But in an emergency situation, when the plan has gone out the window, as soon as possible, get right back on it, even if you have to readjust the timetable. The other thing to note is that many students do not know how much time to reasonably revise. It is best to do intensive concentration in 20 minute sessions and then change activity or have a short break. It will be far more effective to do 20 minutes of Cornell note taking than 20 minutes of retrieval practice using Seneca Learning, for example, and then 20 minutes of past paper practice questions than one solid hour of revision on forces, for example. Alternatively, you could do 20 minutes of maths practice questions, then 20 minutes of French vocabulary recall, then 20 minutes of retrieval practice on the carbon cycle in biology. I'm not saying you should only do 20 minutes of revision, but at least one hour minimum per GCSE per week in the two years of your course. And this will be ramped up, obviously, during the exam periods. But if you start in year 10 with this revision timetable, that should mean that there is a gradual increase in revision intensity rather than a massive shock to your system and a negative impact on your well-being in the last term of year 11. The majority of students in England have to do at least combined science, which is worth two GCSEs. And some students can opt to study for the separate sciences, also known as triple science, which are worth three GCSEs. Therefore, I would advise that starting in year 10, students should spend two hours per week revision for the combined sciences or three hours per week revision for those doing the separate sciences. But remember, this is the total time. Break it up into either six 20 minute sessions if studying for the combined sciences, or nine 20 minute sessions weekly if you're studying for the separate sciences. Most students in England are studying for nine to 10 GCSEs or the equivalent qualifications. And so this is a very reasonable in terms of expectations and practically can be done in terms of the time that you have. However, time needs to be planned and organised. So discuss with your parents and plan together and you will get the best outcome this way. Don't forget to um, press the subscribe button, the like and click the notification bell and good luck.